The two-day stop in Tanzania follows on previous trips by the Egyptian president to East Africa. Trade and the economy will be high on the agenda of talks in Tanzania. Tanzania is considered an important platform for Egypt, especially that Tanzania owns natural resources such as phosphate and manganese. Partnerships between the two countries can open up opportunities to produce and export products to new markets. Tanzania is a promising country with a development witnessed recently there. Another issue to be raised in the meetings is Ethiopia's Renaissance Dam, built on the River Nile. Egypt fears the dam will reduce the water flow to Egypt, and the North African country is trying to garner support for a stance on the issue of building dams on the River Nile. A large number of basin countries do not benefit from the Nile, and the large chunk of water is wasted. Egypt has carried out research and studies show that these countries can make use of a Nile water. However, the Renaissance Dam could affect Egypt's water share. The president supports development plans in Addis Ababa as long as it does not affect Egypt's share. Both leaders will also discuss joint security efforts in countering terrorism that has been a threat to many African nations. Since assuming office three years ago, El Sisi has moved closer to his African neighbors, largely neglected by his predecessors. This week will be his 11th tour to African countries, putting Africa on the forefront of Egypt's foreign policy. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.